about 50 kilometers to travel to get to Herzogville from Wipstadt. Herzogville sounds interesting. Yeah, and I'm sure we know all where the name comes from. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> yes. So, no, I will. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing Herzogville. I love traveling in the Free State. Um, the Free State is flat around here. Yeah. This is typical Free State. Love it. Just this little clump of trees. Yeah. Now this I found very very interesting and I learned this just the other day from my brother that these are silo bags uh, that they store the grain and the millies and stuff in these things horizontally on the ground like this now it's a new method that's incredible yeah, no. so this is full of grain it's full of grain now they store it like this now I would have thought that these were the hay bales that they cover with a plastic just smaller. I, I used to see places where they used to pack um, hay, bales. hay bales under white plastic yes. like this, but apparently now they're storing grain and stuff like this in silos. And how we, interesting! And look how many they are. Yeah, it's crazy. That is super cool. So, is it plastic? Yes, but it must be mega strong plastic. 50.3 meters long then 51.3 so it looks like around about 50 yeah super interesting babe yeah we are greeted by silos Herzogville. That's awesome. Major agricultural part of our country this day. It is. No, it is. I read online that it's a, a cattle and sheep farming town too. Oh, really? Oh, it's well, going to be interesting to see. District. An auction probably on the 27th. Yes. This was an abattoir. This is the auction, so there's probably going to be an auction here. Yeah. We have to find food in Herzogville. That we have to do. We still haven't found food. <laughs> Oh, 
it's closed. Closed for lunchtime, you think? <laughs> I suppose that's possible. It's ten past one. Yeah. Mandelhof Flats. Honey Badger Cooperative. Interesting name. Oh. This is it. Yes. So now I'm going to turn back and go and find something to put in our tummies. Yes. I have not. Okay, the receiver is broken, but long time last I've seen a public telephone like this. With an actual phone still. Still inside of it. No. Look, we haven't seen that in a long time. <laughs> Crazy. Eh? If ever. Yeah. No, I haven't. I've seen the stands and the where they used to be, but they've all been they removed. have all been removed. Yeah. Yes. You still ask you wonder if it's still working. Yeah. <laughs> Cheeky chicks. food had to get us two burgers got Sonia a Hawaiian chicken burger yes and I got myself a cheese beef burger with chips I'm starving I am so hungry but what's interesting is this little place called Cheeky Chicks they used to be over here you can see that's their logo and then they just moved across the road to over there and they didn't have Herzogis today. No, we wanted Herzogis, but they had nothing. <laughs> Herzogis in Herzogville. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to enjoy lunch now. Yes. Check that out. Tombstone and beef policies. It's so, a bit different, eh? Certainly interesting signs here. And there's, yeah. the, there's the bull next to the coffin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird, eh? We obviously don't understand it all. Yeah. This looks like it was a filling station too. Yes. At one point. So they've got a major crisis here with water, eh? Yes. And this guy pushing his wheelbarrow with the drums of water. Empty drums trying to go get water somewhere. And you say that lady at the takeaway told you that they haven't had water in three weeks three weeks yeah something wrong with their pups so yeah i read um online that a guy says that they drink water from a quarry where the birds and the animals and 
that he'd rather die of cholera than of thirst. Wow. Look at this. I wonder what this was. I suppose it's too big for something like a post office. I don't know. It's possible that it was. They're all pushing these drums to collect water. These wheelie bins. Are they for water? Yes. Wow, that's quite a situation to be in, yeah. hey? Look, this wheelbarrow is also full of yeah. empty plastic buckets. So, th because I've been seeing a while that they push the wheelie bins. Yes. Street's office. Oh, here's the post office. Okay. Pretty big one. I don't know if they're operational. Might just be the post boxes. Look at this whole bucket is full, full of, of containers. Oh, major crisis, yeah. Sasa. It's a struggling town. That's for sure. I think that's evident. looking building yeah I think this is the um, mosque oh okay yes okay oh yeah, yeah this is the mosque all right so they have a Muslim community yeah. oh, this is collapsed well not collapsed destroyed Evident of that everywhere. He's getting water out of a tap over there. Some have boreholes. I think, think that's what they've got a borehole. Those who depend on municipal water, they don't have. Sure. I can just imagine the crisis of not having water. That's unimaginable, actually. been in the past. <laughs> That's a disaster waiting. And people are filling it up with building rubble it looks like. Yeah. No, 
Now this to me looks as if it's a town being abandoned by the municipality. Yeah, I think you're right. Now, we don't even live here. Yeah. And we filled with a certain sense of desolation almost, right? And desperation. Oh, okay. And yes, a big water tank now. That one guy spoke about the police, eh? Well, he said, we asked where do they get the water. Yes. And he said some of them get it here um, at the police station at five rand or sometimes two rand a litre. No, for a bucket. Uh, a bucket, yeah. uh, not a litre, sorry. And um, if they come with the wheelie bins, they pay a lot more. Yeah. Otherwise, is at some residences, I would imagine, again, those with boreholes. business and they say business hours Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Saturday 9 to 1 o'clock I can't see what it says some store and, oh there's the sign oh, I can't see they've got the little flags in yeah. front of them it's Monday to Saturday 9 to 1 all right not sure what that is no. Filling up with water. Okay. Yeah. It's a major crisis. Sad. Look here, filling up with water. Yes. And these are people helping out now with their boreholes for people to get water. Oh, yeah, another child coming with a wheelbarrow. Yeah. Crazy. No joke. No, they're going through a desperate time here in Herzogville. We haven't visited a place like that. That's such a obvious need for water, no, right? No, we haven't. Yeah, I worry for them. Yeah. On the map I see there's a pan called Palm Meat Pan out there and I can see it in the distance. That flat greyish area. Yes, yes. And there's just no way to get closer.
Herzogville was established in 1915 on Donkerfontein Farm and was named after JBM Herzog. The town is within the Lechwele Putswa district municipality. Okay. And that's really all I could find. Wow. Other than a f the, that they farm with sheep, cattle, nuts, and we've seen maize. Did we see maize? So, so millies, yes, Millie definitely. Fields? Yeah, and sunflower. Yes. And sunflowers, yes. And the lady in the takeaway shop yes. said to me that uh, some farmers do peanuts. Okay. Oh. And peanuts grow in the ground? Yes. So they refer to ground nuts. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's fantastic. But it's so ironic that a, an agricultural area, their town won't have water. That's I mean, it's like freaky. Mind-blowing. So we drove past the church. I see if we're lucky if there's a gate open. There's a bucky inside. No, it's not. On the pavement. No, at the back there is a bucket inside the premises. Oh really? So maybe there's a gate open somewhere? Again, a, a small little uh, boundary wall, hey? Old one. Yes. And then they've got the major security palace at fencing. Fascinating. There's a bucky. Park there, a blue bucky. You'll see it now. Oh, I don't know if you'll see it from here. And this gate's locked. I can see the padlock on it. Yeah, he's, there he is. You see his canopy there. It's open. Oh, okay. Oh, it's padlocked here. I oh, can't get in. How does one attract the attention? Looks like it was laid on the 24th of October, 1924. Beautiful church, eh? Yeah. With a, a dark stone. Love it. So, there was a gentleman outside the church. They said one isn't able to get in because of alarms and stuff. So, we asked him what this building was and he said it was Absa Bank for a long time. Then when they moved out, uh, police services, detective services came in here. But then the building, they moved out. The building was vacant for three or four years. And it was set alight about a month ago, he says. They actually vandalized it. They broke in and started stealing everything out of it. And oh, it didn't burn? They, no, and then they oh. made fire inside and stuff okay, like that. Okay, okay. But it was just, it's just vandalism and theft. They just stole everything out of it. But that was about a month ago, he says. Yeah. So sad. Yeah. And this is all that's left of APSA in the town, is the yes. ATM. This is the school. Definitely a school. Senzile Secondary School. Oh, it's a combined school, I see. The other school, other sign says combined school, yes. Can we turn right here? Okay. A big school. Yeah. This building is with dark bricks. Yeah, different. Must have been more of an original building. I would and say, that's hey? what I think. Yes. Looks school started complete. with that building and then it just expanded. Expanded from yeah. there. Wow. 
Wowzer. Turning into a diesel now. <laughs> what is this? Foot tracker. This is the Foot Tracker Monument, 25th of November 1988. The 150th year celebration. It's awesome. Silo. Oh, this is cool, eh? In Very a cloud of dust. <coughs> Look at that shoot. Yeah. Something's pouring out there. Yes, I see that. Is that Millie's? I don't know what that is. But it's covered. It must be some way they're storing this stuff. That's cool. Very. And you see, yeah, with this. This is exactly the same that they do over here on this side. It hasn't been done yet. The bags are flat? Yeah. The tops. Are Keep you talking them. about the silo bags? Not those on that side, but over there where it's pumping out there yes. like that. The tops there are covering that. It's a big mound. Oh, but the okay. tops this side haven't been filled up yet. Oh, these aren't bags. They're also tops. Yes. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. And over there are the silo bags. The old silo bags. I was yeah. looking this side the whole time. These things are massive, eh? <laughs> yeah. Silos are huge, eh? Yo. It's incredible. Look how many white pigeons there are here. Yes. Hi. <laughs> Lots. We need to take them back to the strand. Yeah, I only have one there. Yes. for all the seeds yeah for the millies well why not right exactly what else is going to happen to the seeds yeah look here definitely and it's white millies eh okay oh you can see them yes this is interesting eh white millies nice Love white millies. Yes. Diesel depot. Yep. They the pumps are undercover here inside behind doors and then they fill their vehicles so that they can lock them up at night or whenever they're wow, not open. Look at that, eh? That's interesting. That's cool, eh? Yes. With the tanks. I've it's never quite seen that. No, <laughs> me neither. But it's only diesel. It's a diesel depot. Yes. Interesting way to end our visit to Herzogville. <laughs> yes. They do have their water issues. I hope it gets resolved pretty soon. Yeah, so do I, hey? Otherwise, they're going to be in deep trouble. But I'm sure that it's going to get fixed soon. Someone will make a plan. They can't leave a whole community like that without water. Where there's life, there's hope. Always. Always. But on a, on a high note, they still got their beautiful church and the lunch was absolutely delicious. And the people make a place. Yeah. But the people need water. That's and here's good. your pan. Here's my pan. Paul Mick Pan. There we go. Good luck, Herzogville. That's all you we need can it. say. That's all we can say.